This is Salamander. You are watching Sal TV, and if you are like me, the IRS is uh, is going to be having some words with you. That's what this guy looks like. He is here to have some words with you about your tax returns and the fact that you have been embezzling money from your company for years. The government just wants a cut, man. That's all they want. Anyway, we do have an awesome game here today between Lions and Friends versus The Wild Party. And Lions and Friends are in the blue, and The Wild Party is in the red. So we are going to be checking this out as this is the third round of the playoffs on Gravel Pit here. We see this wonderful uh, wonderful map that you actually can't see most of. Oh my god! Everything has disappeared in a void of blankness. But um, no, seriously, this is going to be a pretty awesome game coming up. Both of these teams fighting to see who gets to go on to win their division of the Highlander playoffs. This is the Copper Division, which is the fourth one down. So the, they, it goes, I think, as far as North American goes, it goes... Um, Platinum, then s silver, then steel, and then copper. So there's actually like six or eight divisions underneath this, which means that it is definitely going to be a good game. And I might have actually like gone through and checked the first round out just to see what happens, but yeah. Uh, it's definitely going to be a good game. And it looks like the engineer actually was going for a jump up to the top of the roof there, maybe trying to set up a teleport or something. Uh, we'll see about that. So far, though... Looks like A will get capped fairly quickly. We've got a lot of players coming out here. Maybe the entire team. And the blue team here. It's going to be Lions and Friends. They do look like... Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is sneaky. This scout definitely looking for a kill up here. Hadn't realized that. Oh, make sure we don't turn the sky to black and destroy the world. Uh, he's not going to be able to stop the capture. There's too many players up there. But looks like he might be able to get a little bit of an ambush. He does he know who he wants to go for yet though? He's gonna go for the sniper. And he manages to take him out, but it looks like there is gonna be a push coming out pretty soon. In fact, I think we uh, actually have missed a big push, so that's a whole thing. Um my bad. I almost wanna go back and check it out. Because actually I think what happened was the spy managed to get a stab on the red medic. Uh, I might have watched this part. <laughs> Oh, I miss all the greatest stuff. But no, the uh, the spy managed to get stabbed on the red medic, which of course uh, made him drop the uber. And so everybody from blue team getting in here and capturing the point right now. Lions and friends will be getting that. And they even get a nice little stab on that scout who tried to go for another little ambush there. So the soldier decided to back away, which he will do successfully. But there you go, point B captured. And it is captured in a minute and 35 seconds. Not a bad little time at all. We do have the... Uh, the spy with oh if Etic, if Etic could oh could have gotten a huge stab on that engineer there I don't think the engineer was paying any attention instead he just died that is too bad um, the engineer had picked up his sentry so he would have dropped the sentry it would have been destroyed it's always my favorite thing but oh look at the oh no watch those sticky traps Hazy and Hazy is dead I don't think he realized there were stickies on the floor there but uh, we do have an Uber actually popped for the red team it's just that the pyro got up here and popped them all off Using that air blast, he will probably get taken out, though. Or at least pushed off himself. And bam, there he goes. All the way down on the ground. 17 health left. He's going to die. So the wild party seems to have held it off for now. They do have uh, roughly even ubers. They managed to keep that alive, keep their med up for this push. And there you go. Grabbing some ammo. He wants to try and jump right back up here. Just barely missed the jump. Oops. There you go. That is a pretty pro-looking rocket jump right there. And we will have the wild party hanging out upstairs on top of the point with a detonator pyro standing up here. They've got their medic and soldier sitting, and, and heavy actually. Whoa, that's a nice little hat for the medic. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that one before. Uh, but we, yeah, we will have them sitting up here, which hmm, I want to see because you can bring a sniper right here. Fairly common thing to do. And that medic, eh, let's just take a straight shot at him. He's sort of visible. I say he might be visible from there. But there is a lot of good spam coming in, and that spy uh, did not get shot at. Just gotta feel nice. Here comes the Uber once again from our blue team, but they do have another counter Uber from red. So uh, this is the difficulty of trying to push this team. Rar Spoon actually running out of ammo, though. Not great. But it looks as if the uh, the assaulting heavy hazy there was backstabbed with the spy sickle. And there's a lot of fighting going upstairs. It's tough to uh, really see what's happening. Whoa! Pun took some huge damage there, falling from the sky. But he will be able to get back inside, I think. And uh, 
grab some health. Meanwhile, the Spy does take down that sentry, so there will be no sentry up to defend this and stop the jumps. But there's actually enough players out here that they could hold this off for a little while. They even have What's Your Deal from the Wild Party hanging out with his spy sickle, looking to get some stabs as soon as somebody walks out of one of these doors. And nobody is so far. They are just trying to build the Uber up. Where is their teleporter? That's the question. Probably over here, as that is where everybody is. Yes, pretty standard to see the teleporter over there. And it's, oh, there you go. We just missed a stab because I am such a moron with the camera. But yeah, the Wild Party getting these nice stabs here means that it's pretty much just going to slow down Blue's push. Although Blue still doesn't have the Uber, so actually losing players at this point isn't such a big deal. They do lose their Spy, who may have been going for some uh, some engineer destruction or something back there. Who knows? But that... Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, wait, how, What's going on here? It's kind of a weird location for a sentry. I, I guess it works, though, especially if you've got the Wrangler. You can just use it to uh, aim at people who are jumping and if they don't know where it is, that's a problem. If they do know where it is, then you know you just kind of have to lay a couple of rockets down at it. No big deal. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, what's your deal? Still hanging out right here, and Hazy gets his headshot clean off by that sniper TM4. Isn't that like a Pokemon thing? It's like a technical machine. I totally remember that. So somebody tell me what TM4 is in the comments, because I swear that's that's totally an item you can get in the original Pokemon game. And what's your deal? Coming in for the stab, he does take down the soldier, but he wants to get this medic too, and that's just not going to happen. Medic is still invincible. Maybe he'll get a headshot here though? Uh, it's looking iffy, but no, the medic still does go down. Nonetheless, Evil Maverick doing some work over here. I think he's getting some shots. Has taken down a raw spoon from the Wild Party, and now going for the Spy as well. A nice little uh, bushwhacker hit on him. Of course, that gives him the critical damage times three. When he's uh, when his opponents are coated in pee, so I mean, it's a pretty cool weapon. They use those in the army sometimes. You know, they they pee on their opponents and then they slice them up, and uh, just does so much more damage. You know, I I really I don't understand that at all. But whatever. And there you go. That is finally the capture. They jumped up, they took him down, but six minutes five seconds. It's actually a pretty respectable time, considering that the wild party lost both of the first points in a minute thirty. So they held off that last point there, point C, for four and a half, wait a minute, yeah, four and a half minutes, okay, I'm not an idiot, <laughs> I can do math, so now uh, it is Lions and Friends turn to defend, and yes, it is Lions and Friends, both of them plural, don't ask me why, could just be the guy's name is Lions, I don't know, but uh, looks like they will set up their sentry right here in the Enigma Shadow, so named because, uh, the world-famous Enigma, also the creator of TeamFortress.tv, which you should totally go check out, because it uh, it's a site for everybody who ever streams Team Fortress 2. Um, but yeah, the world-famous Enigma came up with that spot for the century, and it just covers practically everything that you would ever need to cover. But yeah, the Wild Party, they've got to work it out for them. Six minutes is a fast time for Highlander. For, for 6v6, it's average. You know, you, you kind of want to get like about five or six minutes, but for Highlander, it can get a little bit more stalemate -y. I do like that AMC, though, came out here with the sticky bombs and uh, immediately popped that sticky trap away from the door, so at least they know where it is. Ooh, jumping right around that, and he did just take a body shot, fully charged, from that sniper, who is Evil Maverick, so he is going to have to uh, get some health here. Dynamosaurus, though, going to have to maybe use a bomb? Probably. Oh, or just die. He's probably going to die. Um, nope. Managed to get away. So he will be invincible for a little while, but I mean, what's what's going on here? He actually forced an Uber or something, I guess? Uh, it wasn't it wasn't yeah, it wasn't a terrible idea by the medic. He didn't probably have to though. Now we do have Death 666 up here with the Mark of the Beast trying to transfer his Mark of the Beast to the sentry and destroy it. Can't quite manage to take it down though. That sentry is still up, so going to be a little bit of a problem for the blue team as they push, but look at this. They've got a bunch of players sitting on point A. They will get that cap pretty quickly, which is yeah, it's, it's typical. I mean, you, you're going to lose uh, point A relatively fast, because point B is usually easier to defend. Um, but they're having to build this Uber up, and they are not building it very fast. Not a useful thing. They need to find somebody who can hurt themselves to build that Uber faster, but so far, everybody who can hurt themselves is pretty much... Uh, trying to jump in and destroy the medic, like, you know, the demo of the soldier, they can rocket jump and whatever else, but they want to get on top of this roof and destroy the medic or force the uber, destroy the sentry, I mean, that's that's kind of their job right now. Evil Maverick watching the connector towards A, but I don't think they're actually coming from there. Well, the soldier was, anyway. Oh, that spy walks right in front of his view, but he was invisible, 
So, uh, not going... Oops, that was a piece of paper. Not going to shoot him. Although it would have been hilarious if he did. Evil Maverick does take down the medic, actually. A nice shot. I wish I had stayed on his camera, but apparently my camera work is just awful today. I am cursed. So, sorry guys, we're going to miss all the action. In fact, I don't even... Believe it or not, I don't even know who sent me this demo. So, uh... It, it was a... Oh! There we go! Found some action. We were on the wrong camera for it, but it still found us. But yeah, I don't actually know who sent me this demo. Nice little reflect by Call Me Vex, though. This guy is... Wow! He's looking pretty darn solid. Oh, I couldn't quite get that last reflect. It doesn't matter. The medic is dead anyway. That's a good kill. Um, so... Lions and Friends are doing a decent job on defense. The Wild Party, though, may be able to capture point B. It looks like they will. They're getting pressure from this demo man. And the sentry's actually still up, so the demo should be able to get in here and do some damage to this scout, who is already at low health and has retreated. Ooh, look at that. Sniper looking in towards Method, though. Method uh, does get the medic on him, so he will be okay for now. Good sappers coming in on the sentry, though, and it is taken down. That is exactly what the Wild Party needs to make this party wild. So pretty soon, I do expect for us to see Point B get captured. I really do. Evil Maverick, though, could go huge. Oh, uh, never mind. That was TM4, whatever that move is. Destroying him. Demolishing that sniper. And Sexually Onion may be having some trouble right now. He just takes one shot at that sniper and then retreats. Did he actually just... He did. He killed TM4. Nice... He might be able to get away from this. 67% Uber is not a bad place to be. Uh-oh, uh-oh, get out. Oh, no, he can't get out of there. There's a sticky trap. Run. Oh, this is the worst position ever to be in as a medic. He doesn't know where he wants to go, but it is anywhere but here, and he's getting chased so hard right now by the entire blue team. Oh, man. Wild Party finally kills that medic. And there you go. They do pop the Uber to defend their capturers on point B, so... Actually, already pushing in towards the last point. Can they get in here and take it, though? Uh, they do lose their medic. It's going to make it a little tough. And let's... Ooh, a good jump in. And a second jump by the soldier here. But they can't take down the sentry. It was wrangled. And actually, the engineer is still up here so he can repair it. The, ooh, the pyro comes up. But pyro gets taken down as well. And it looks like Evil Maverick's doing some work down there. He does take down the sniper. So that was most of the players on the blue team dead. Uh, looks like they could have captured it if there was just a tiny bit more communication between the players, a little more coordination, maybe they could have done it. But as it is right now, a minute 30 left to go, they're going to have time for maybe one or two more pushes if they start uh, if they start pushing together as a team. So we'll see whether they can manage to make something happen here. As pretty soon, they need to push in. They do have Rar Spoon kind of hanging out here, doing some damage. This demo man is getting really far forward. Method down to 64 health, though. He knows... Uh, it's just about how much damage he can take, and Rar Spoon needs to be careful walking around that that angle there, just because the sniper could take some pot shots at him, and you don't want to lose players at this point in the game. 93% on the Uber for the blue team, so they will be pushing it through pretty soon. And I want to say they'll probably lose. Oh, they have a Kritzkrieg, but they immediately lose their demo man. And was that the sickest reflect ever? It was Call Me Vex reflecting a crit critical rocket. That's exactly what happened. 300 damage straight into the opposing medic. TM4 doing his best to try and snipe down this engineer and take down his sentry. But it is too late. Look at all the kill feed right now going towards well, towards Lions and Friends. Not in favor of the Wild Party, certainly, as Wild Party losing all of their players. So their medic is back up again, but 30 seconds left to go. They are jumping the demo man in, and not quite an air shot, but AMC is down anyway. And so I don't... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. oh <laughs> Couple of bottle hits there. Didn't quite kill the pyro. 17 seconds left, and the demo man just makes a beautiful jump straight up here. That's going to be a lot of players to deal with on this point. I don't think that the wild party will be able to do it. 10 seconds left, and they only have four or five players left. So we're going to go into round two, I think, with Lions and Friends having won this round. There you go. Okay. Going on into round two, and once again, we do see Call Me Vexed here along with the rest of his team, Lion and Lions. Sorry, Lions and Friends. <laughs> uh, we do see Call Me Vexed hanging out here with his entire team on defense. They will be defending first, and that means that their opponents need to set the time, and then Lions and Friends will have to beat. Whoa. Wow, this guy, this guy is definitely into his bone crafting, I gotta say. 
bones seem to be seem seem to play a prominent role in his outfit. I'll bet you there's probably even some bones in that tie. Jiggle bones. <laughs> Anyway, let's see if anybody from the blue team does decide to walk out this way. They do have a direct hit soldier, which is going to be a direct response to... Watch for those uh, sticky traps. No, it's going to be a direct response to the sentry. And so we're probably going to see him maybe take a jump onto the roof if he can, but that's going to be tough because he's going to be a sniper watching. I think... Is he up there? I don't know. The void gets taken out right away. That's the engineer gone, but what a beautiful hit. That was that... Uh, that was what's your deal, actually. Hang on. Hang, hang on. I hate doing this, I know. I know, it just sucks, but we need to see... Oh no, okay, Death is actually dead. I'm sorry, okay, so I'm an idiot. Uh, point is, I was actually trying to see... I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we just saw a Pyro reflect a direct hit rocket into a, a spy. Is what happened. So, pretty darn sick. Call me vexed, wicked sick. I, you, you could even go with wicked sick. We're gonna go with that. And now he is hanging out, just spy checking. But, oh, he does find the spy. Wow. Lucked out on that one. And he's not able to take him out, though. He does spot the soldiers coming in and trying to get the kills. Takes out that soldier, but is the sentry still up? No, sentry is down. The engineer's here. He's going to try and rebuild this. But there is a little bit of an opportunity, maybe, for the blue team to push in and take point B, which they should be in position to do. They've taken A, set the time on that, about a minute and six seconds. And are they pushing from the high ground, is the question. We've got a couple players doing that, and it could... Oh, no, I, was, I thought maybe they could have taken down the Demo Man if uh, if it had just been him against the Scout, that would have happened, but... Nah, too bad. We're going to stay on the Call Me Vexed cam go, because this guy has been just absolutely insane with the Reflex, and uh, if there is anything that I like more than just plain old TF2, it is TF2 with a billion Reflex in my life. Spy does get the nice stab on Evil Maverick, and, yep, Call Me Vex has practiced his dodgeball just non-stop, hasn't he? Looking for that uh, spy, though. And he really needs to find him, because they do not want to lose their engineer and their sentry and their medic and whatever else. Uh, it's not only the pyro's job, of course, to be spy-checking, but he might be the only one capable of finding him. Doing some reflects here, but he may start running low on ammo pretty soon. Yeah, there you go. Gonna have to grab that flamethrower. And they have found the spy. The spy was, I think, going for maybe a kill on the engineer or something, but didn't manage to take him out. Now it's Pyro versus Scout, and normally a Scout would win that one, but he's... Okay, he's actually taking Bonk, and he's going to escape back into spawn. So we'll see, man. These guys are putting up a pretty strong defense right now. Lions and friends. And I gotta tell you, Lions don't actually have all that many friends. You know, out on the Serengeti, out on the plains out there, they, uh, they don't make friends. They kind of just make food, so um, that's why there's only nine of them. But you know what? The Lions and Friends are looking pretty solid anyway, and there seems to be a bit of a fight going on here with Pyro now trying to escape. Will he be able to do that? No. Tommy um, gets taken down by Hazy, but call me Vex. Can he get the kill? Not quite. Finally goes down there, and Ephetic, the uh, the red spy, is actually spotted the blue med. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is not a good situation for the medic, though, because he's got the crossbow. Probably not the wisest choice in a Highlander game. Is Ephetic going to be able to take him out? I don't think so, actually. He got away with it. That is surprising. And so the Wild Party attempting to jump in and get the capture here, but Lions and Friends uh, still do have their sentry up for now. The uh, Uber was actually popped, so what fortuitous timing if the Demo Man managed to save his medic from that spy. And they did take out the sentry, but here comes that Pyro once again. Not quite able to get the kill, but oh, lots and lots of damage coming in here from Lions and Friends. are doing quite a fantastic job right up until that spy showed up. Once again, destroying everyone. And I don't know, man. This is looking like it could go either way. But with more and more damage that the red team is taking right now, the medic actually does escape for the moment. Oh! <laughs> Was that, that was actually the blue heavy spawn capping, I think. Which means uh, that the medic is definitely going to be down for a while. Sexually Onion is going to be sexually uh, morose for a little bit. Oh no! That did not just happen. Did an Equalizer Soldier just get out meleeed? I think it did, actually. I think it might have actually happened. So uh, you are witnessing a first here. Because usually the Equalizer is just ridiculous. But uh, the Wild Party is starting to lose some players here. 
They do still have their medic up and capturing point B, but the problem is I don't think they have anybody... Nice reflex going on. Uh, I, I just don't think they have anybody defending this upper area, and that's the problem. We need, really, you need your medic combo up here, and you need to leave, like, a scout and an engineer sitting back down here, because you won't be able to cap the point. It just takes too long to capture if you keep letting your opponents walk in through those choke points from C. So, plus there's a teleporter still up there. So I don't think Wild is going to get this. Um, I do apologize that we can't actually see the round timer. My, uh, my HUD's kind of broken a little bit right now. We're still working that out. But uh, it does look as if there's about 3 minutes and 30 seconds left before this round is over. I, I'm pretty sure that's what that says. And now, what's your deal? Just trying to take out the sentry gun. Do a little bit of damage here while he can. And do some cap time as well. Meanwhile, out here, where is the battle going on? This is what they needed to do. Yeah, the wild party going to keep their combo up top. The medic and the heavy. And even the soldier doing some good damage and trying to shut down these lanes of attack. So there you go. Point B will finally get captured, but it has taken a very long time. Uh, probably about five minutes for that. There you go, yeah, six minutes total for that capture. So they need to get on point C pretty quickly, or else they're going to need to have a much better defense than they had last time around. Um, although I will say that last time around, and, and we didn't catch all of this on camera, but last time around, uh, the wild party was kind of playing around trying to get a teleporter set up on point B, and so they weren't really paying that much attention. I think they will probably do better this time, uh, but I have not seen this round, so I don't know. So we'll see, man. Uh, it does look like Blue at least lost their medic there. So the wild party is going to be taking a little bit longer. Call me vexed. Will... Uh, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was a spy, and he didn't even check. So there is a spy up here right now, but uh, he's going to have to dead ringer away from there. Using the sentry, actually, to, uh, to use the dead ringer. And now, trying to go for some hits, but that sentry does get repaired for the moment. A little bit of spam could have gone a long way there and taken it out, but uh, it will not happen. And a scout tries to get in. That's not going to work very well. Ephetic. <laughs> oh, this is going to be hilarious. Uh, one way or the other, it's going to be hilarious. So he tried to decloak to take out that uh, sniper. Not going to happen, though, as the, the heavy just picked the perfect opportunity, the perfect moment to walk around and be like, hey, hey, dude, there's like a spy decloaking right now. Don't you hate that when you're a spy and you, you want to decloak? You're like, I found the perfect spot and get the sniper. But anyway, there is a uh, crit screen coming in right now. They are trying to do some damage with it. So far, nothing really happening. The Heavy even takes out that crit sticky. So this is not working very well for the blue team at all. Uh, yep, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, Demo is going to try and jump in, though. And actually, he and the scout could do a bit of damage here. AMC falling to his death, the scout, and Pyro now up here. The Pyro is actually what they really need. He can air blast everybody away, and there you go. 745, 744, just somewhere around there for the wild party. A decent time. Everybody's blue, oh my gosh. Just kidding. I reload my HUD. But now, of course, it is Lions and Friends turn to be on offense. And we're going to see what happens when the wild party defends B this time around. I think they will be a little bit more ready for the attacks that come in, and I'm sorry, this is kind of gross. I'm having some uh, some rumblings going on in my stomach, probably because I drank a whole bunch of Coke and then took a bike ride, um, and then drank some more Coke, actually. I am a kind of a sugar fiend, so it's really bad for me. Uh, I know, but I can't stop. Do you have a nice little sticky trap going on here? And uh, when you get some like really serious teams together, by the way, um, a lot of the time, you will hear them... Sorry. <laughs> I am so lost right now. And a lot of the time you will hear them saying, okay, everybody say really, really quiet in spawn, and because that way they can hear which side the sticky trap's being set up on. Of course, it's going to be fairly obvious it's coming up here. This spy just avoids it. Oh, no, actually. That was really nice. Uh, AMC was suspecting that somebody was coming out of there, so he just laid one sticky down. Since he already had eight laid down, uh, one of the first ones he laid down exploded to make room for the new one. And that actually hit the spy, which told him, oh, wait a minute, I just hit somebody. So he detonated the trap, got the kill. Quite nice, quite nice. I do like to see that. And we do have What's Your Deal coming in, trying to get a stab. Decent, decent. But he did, I think, get covered in P. So uh, that's going to mean that point A will get captured. He was just trying to harass a little bit, got one stab on it. And there you go, they have set up the uh, teleporter up there again. So this time around, that teleporter looks like it is in a little bit of a safer spot than it was in the first time, and I'm sorry we didn't get to see it, but there you go. This is something that did not happen last time. They didn't get their heavy up, but now they have the heavy on the roof for the wild party. 
So Rar Spoon is looking to shut down any and all jumping traffic up there, and they even keep the medic up top. That's going to be cute, because now the only way a spy can get up there is by taking the teleporter, and that's going to be a really, really obvious move if he does. Hopefully the medic doesn't, like, stand on the exit, because he could totally get telefragged, and that would be super hilarious. Um, see, though. We will see. Oh, spy does come in, and the, the engineer is going to have to uh, repair that. Before it gets taken down, the sentry is down right now. That is not a very good thing for the red team. They might end up having to pop the Uber a little bit earlier, but the Medic is in a pretty decent position so far. Problem is, they do not have a sentry, so this Uber is going to probably deal a lot of damage. Scout coming in behind the demo, and he, oh, doesn't take him down. AMC is down, but actually got a really nice kill there on that scout. And now Sexually Onion for Lions and Friends. It gets a nice little uh, fadeaway kill on a Link user before running back to try and find the rest of his team and rebuild for another push. Um, Ephetic is going to play a pretty big role here, too. He needs to get in and uh, knock out the enemy's position, but he's going to get spotted. He didn't get spotted. Nice little stab. Can't pull out the sapper in time to take down the sentry, though. And so that sentry will remain. And I think I saw... Was it on Reddit? I think on Reddit somebody was like, you know, actually, they used to call combat engineers and certain, certain armies used to call them sappers. Like, the actual engineer builds, like, bunkers and stuff on the field, so, um, the now you know, being you, can, you can totally confuse your friends by calling the engineer a sapper. They'll be like, no, dude, what are you talking about? You'll be like, Reddit taught me! Or you could be like, Sal taught me, and then they'll be like, yeah, well, Sal's a moron, and you'll be like, yeah, that's true. Anyway, it does look like B still hasn't been captured yet, and half of the blue team is really pushing C. Now, that's not a bad tactic. Because if they can, you know, if they can hold off for a while and, and keep uh, keep a lot of the reinforcements from getting there, then they could potentially, yeah, deal a lot of damage, force the Uber, take out the defenders at B, which would force everybody back to C. Um, but look at this. So there's four minutes and 45 seconds left to go before uh, before the wild party wins this round. And right now, Hazy is doing some crazy damage. Monster falls to his death here, so uh, a couple players dead for each team, but it looks like a lot more dead for Wild. And AMC needs to not be... Do oh, oh, no, 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 no. Get out of there, AMC! You need to be retreating, because you are not going to be able to stop this capture. There, he does retreat. But the Heavy actually joining him, so they could try and get back in. No, he's just going to lay a sticky trap. Wise choice, wise choice. Gotta watch out for that other Demo Man, though! Okay, so he gets back. Whew. Is getting intense because do you recall that uh, the wild party actually had a really good defense on C? They managed to defend it for quite a while, but there's actually already a spy up here going for the spy cap, and really not a lot of players ready for this. Uh, looks like our our pyro does get up here though, and that's going to prevent the soldier from being able to cap too. So blue needs to put together a push. They need to get the uber ready, but Kami needs some heals too. And no, he does get taken down. That's a pretty big kill. You want to take that pyro down when you're pushing up here because that way he can't air blast you off of the point. And so far, I do think that our red team will still get their players up here onto point C for the defense. And look at where the soldier is. That's a cute little spot. Try that in your next pub game on Gravel Pit. We'll see, man. We'll see if he actually gets anything, because so far nobody actually walking out of there. They've got a sniper, but he is taking some spam right now. And there is a crits coming in. It takes down AMC immediately, so no demo man, but there is an uber pop to perfectly counter that. Uh, so the medic will stay alive up here, as will his uh, heavy soldier, at least for now. And yeah, there's even a dispenser up, so I like the defense so far from the red team. They are going to need to get a couple more kills, though, as there's players jumping in left and right. They do actually get a bunch of kills, and a couple of them coming in from the sentry. Koala has a pretty decent sentry location. Where is that? It is once again down here next to this shack. I don't think anybody realizes it's there, or they could just walk out and take it out really easily. But no, uh, they do not realize that sentry's down there, and that is really working wonders for the wild party right now. Koala is a pretty genius engineer, i got to say. Meanwhile, we are watching the uh, blue engineer set up his teleporter, which will lead... See, we just teleported. Sounds like we do have another crits going on. And... Oh, no! Not for long. That was a perfect body shot there on Sexual Onion. Hazy just going to eat his sandwich, try and stay alive for a little while. But uh, he is covered in pee right now with a soldier standing on his head. So that's pretty gross. Look at this, though. Three players up alive for the wild party. Two minutes left to go. And Method's actually just going to lay a sticky trap here so the rest of his team can maybe try and move forward. 
Oh, <laughs> didn't manage to get that kill, and he does get taken down. So, uh, this soldier needs to jump up and start capturing right now, because there's not a lot of time left, and there was... Oh, man, I think, actually, the blue team has wasted an opportunity. There were only three players alive on the wild party, and blue, Lions and friends, gonna have some difficulty here. Looks like the assassin class is doing their work, too. What's your deal? And TM4 taking down the engineer and sniper. So that, that's going to alleviate the medic's concerns a little bit. Um, GBGH, GG, what is this guy's name? Pun, I'm sorry. Pun will not have to worry about getting sniped at for a little while anyway. But Ephetic does take down Koala, so no more engineer. Is the sentry gun going to get taken down? Yes, it is. So no more sentry, that is what you need to see. And so there's a minute left. Can Lions and friends push this and win the game, or will it go to a third round? A nice kill there by TM4 once again. And another kill on Evil Maverick. He is dominating that sniper now. Crazy stuff. Ephetic, though, gets taken out trying to go for the cap. So 50 seconds left. Uh, and this is going to start to get a little bit desperate for Lions and friends, especially if that spy just keeps doing such crazy work. Hazy is down, and uh, that, that heavy is a... He plays a pretty huge role going into last. So there's the Uber. Monster takes a little bit of it, and it's going to jump straight up. But, oh, the sentry pushes him right back down. And so it didn't do any damage to him. He was invincible. But the problem is, he's, can he get up here and actually get the capture? Oh, he does kill. <laughs> he does kill the engineer, but there's just too much up here at the moment. 20 seconds left, and there are three players, including a medic and an overhealed heavy. Uh, the engineer is just kind of hanging out. I, <laughs> he literally just stands there. He's like, yeah, whatever. Uh, Evil Malik finally took down TM4, but it is too late. They can't get enough players off the point, and uh, that is going to be this half. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Very, very close. And so that does mean we're going on around three. The Wild Party and Lions and Friends have each won one stopwatch round. Alright. We do get to see what kind of defense is set up by the Wild Party. And uh, a <laughs> little taunt sliding going on there by the Pyro. Lions and Friends will be on offense again. And AMC is going to go set up his typical sticky trap out here right above the door. Which looked like it was uh, pretty darn effective last time around. And he is in E squared, which is that spy group, but apparently he is playing demo for these guys. Not sure what he's doing with his uh, stickies at the moment. But he will just be standing here to watch the trap. Is anybody actually going to walk out of the store this time around? Spy's going to try it again. Uh, this time he actually did manage to avoid the initial trap and then walk right into a soldier. So, yeah, you know. Problem is, that kill just does not matter. I mean, like, yeah, it does slow down the spy trying to get behind the medic for a little while. Oh, this is cute. Now, the only person who's dead right now is the spy, so if that spy respawns and AMC manages to get the kill, we'll see what happens. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he was going for the teleporter, and he did take it down, so that's useful. It's useful. Um, looks like some players coming in here for the attack, though. Method and Hazy both trying to get some, uh, some damage done. Alert. It looks like, so far, the defense is pretty darn solid. Oh, fail step. Pretty solid for the wild party. And, I mean, it's been solid for a while. They do, once again, have their medic, and this time, demo up here. The heavy's not upstairs yet, um, but he may not be waiting much longer. He is kind of standing on a level 1 teleporter. And there you go. He's now upstairs, so... Getting your entire team up here to defend this point, not a bad idea. You can always just use this to shoot into the point, maybe even drop down when you have an Uber. And so nobody's going to be able to get this unless they take these guys out. And it's harder to take them out up here than it is when they are behind the point. Because, do remember, they can drop behind the point. They can drop any direction they want to. So wherever the attack is coming, they can just go on the other side of it and drop away. Or they can go into it if they like their odds, you know. Whatever the case, uh, this gives them options and it still protects them from sniping and from bombs and everything like that. It uh, doesn't protect the sentry too well, though, is the only problem. And when the engineer is not standing next to his sentry and not using the Wrangler, uh, it's not going to work very well. But that's all right. The Wild Party still have a decent defense set up here on point B. And the Uber is popped for blue. Uh, Soldier just jumped up and actually, wait a minute, Medic dropped on red. That was, uh, I'm pretty sure that was Method, getting a whole bunch of crazy kills. So, wow, he's still going huge right now, and TM4 is just about one of the only players left alive. He, uh, does coat the Medic in Jarati, but can't quite get that kill. 
and he's looking for maybe a headshot. Whatever he can get right now is going to be super useful for his team. But uh, instead, he is going to die. So that's too bad. Team, team B, I'm sorry. <laughs> Point B, getting captured by lions and friends fairly quickly. That was a pretty darn good, uh, good cap by them, especially with Method doing such crazy damage to... Um, to, what was it, Pun? I want to say it's Pun. Totally, it is Pun. Okay. Not just Pun, but the rest of his team, too. Got a bunch of kills there during that Uber, so apparently that defensive position on the roof, uh, maybe they just didn't quite use it right or something. Uh, looks like they got an Uber ready to go, but they're getting spammed out of this doorway. There you go. Looks like they will finally get forward enough. Well, the demo keeps walking forward, and nobody else follows. Kind of annoying. But there you go. They do finally pop the Uber. Method going to come in and start dealing some damage. But not a lot, actually. He is still getting pushed away by that pyro who finally dies. And there goes the red uber. So the wild party going to have an uber to try and defend this point for a little while. Can they actually do it? The sentry up in that crazy position once again. I like it. And the demo man, by the time he got up there, had such little health that one rocket finished him off. So, I, I wouldn't call the entire red team maggots, but I would say they do need to kind of stand on the point and make sure their opponents don't get that capture. Onion. Can make sure he builds up the uber charge on people who can hurt themselves. So he will try and get it up there as quickly as possible. And again, that... I Okay, I can't even bring myself to say it. I'm just not going to say it. It's not funny anymore. It might have been funny like ten years ago. Um... Nope, not going to say it. Can't think of anything else to say, and I'm still not going to say it. Don't comment it either. If you comment it, it's, not, it's still not funny. It totally isn't. Anyway, the Uber is getting pretty close to ready now, so they need to get in there and do some damage pretty soon. Um, what I'd like to see them do, really, is send in a couple of players to try and go for uh, force the enemy medic. You know, force them to pop the Uber early. But no, Red has an Uber right now, and there is nobody even close to jumping into them. The sentry did go down, and the spy comes in trying to sap that sentry again. Oh, that's good coordination. The spy comes in and saps the sentry at the same time as the uh, the Uber comes in, so the sentry is definitely going to go down. Medic getting kind of pressured away by a spy and scout, though. Now, call me Vex, pushing up here, and he, oh, gets cut down by the minigun of Rar Spoon. And Rar Spoon is doing some crazy work right now, too. So, uh, so far, this defense is looking really solid for the red team. It's very difficult to capture that point C when you've got nine people to clear out of it. It is a tough point to cap. You really have to make your Ubers work for you, or your crits, or whatever the case. Uh, you got to get a lot of kills real fast. Now, Maverick does take down TM4. It's a useful kill because there will not be as much sniping going on. In fact, Sniper will not be sniping. Sniper no sniping until he respawns. But Evil Maverick is down as well, so it's not really going to help them too much either. Uh, AMC setting up some sticky traps through these doors just to make sure that nobody can get through them. Or at least they think twice before they go through them. And Ephetic... The spy did die going for the sentry again. Monster down right now. Dynamosaurus going to try and sneak around and see what he can do downstairs while the rest of his team gets ready for a push up here. Whoa! Um, Onion is, like, really hurt right now. He does get the Uber up to 100%, though, so that's good. Oh, TM4. Played Maverick like a goose. I don't even know how you play a goose, but he totally played him like a goose. And TM4, he's still looking here. That heavy, he's got to be like, come on, heavy, stop walking. Come on, come on. And look at all the reflects going on once again. Engineer actually. <laughs> Just as the Uber faded away. That was pretty beautiful. The Jurati, though, did not hit its 10 target, but Evil Maverick is just continually getting dominated by TM4 right now. Uh, he's got perfect positioning. And what's your deal? Killing Call Me Vex, so no more uh, crazy pyro reflects going on. Pretty darn good work overall by the Wild Party on defense, but they've lost their Medic, and Method is now to the side with some kills. <laughs> he does die, but there is a nice little uber advantage for Sexually Onions. They should be able to use this and get in pretty soon to go attack. I would even go in and attack maybe, well, not right now. They do want to wait until they have the uber. They can just walk out with it, do some good damage, get the players up on that point, and... The tough part is going to be keeping them up there for long enough to get the capture while their opponents do not get up there. So we'll see. We'll see. Really good spy checking by everybody, though. Just doing some explosive damage all over the place. And there you go. They are going to pop the Uber right as soon as they get through here. They don't want to get sniped. Sh sniping. Sorry. And a pretty good wrangling. They pop Onion way up in the air, but that Engineer could die very quickly. He's uh, very low health right now. And Onion 
some decent damage down on him. Yep, that koala is dead, but Onion goes down as well. And this attack is not really working out very well for Lions and Dragons. No, it's not. So there is some players up on the point right now that is a demo man and an engineer, but they're going to have to deal with a heavy and a pyro. Pyro gets knocked off, but the engineer isn't going to be able to do it by himself. Uh, oh, maybe he is, though, as the soldier and spy came in to help. And so that engineer feeling pretty darn good about himself right now. 7 minutes and 30 seconds for that. In, 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 in 60 seconds? Is that what you said, announcer? You, you speak a little more clearly? All right. Sorry, I don't usually get mean to people, but that announcer, she's just so mean to everyone all the time. You know? She deserves it. Okay, anyway, uh, Lions and Friends now on their last time on defense. They're going to try and set up their uh, sentry over here as soon as possible. And Hazy making sure he has his sandwich ready to go. So what he did there was he uh, he threw the sandwich down and then grabbed that little tiny health kit, the, the, the pill bottle. Which of course gave him the ability to immediately refill the sandwich cage. And there's still a sandwich sitting out there, so the medic can grab it whenever he wants. Not a bad little idea, all in all. And these guys are going for a classic defense, which is to have the sentry in the Enigma Shadow. I don't think they'll be walking the heavy up here, which actually worked really well when Oplay did it, but it did not seem to work out all that well for the Wild Party. So, uh, Bonk's got coming out, and this is interesting. The Wild Party deciding to push out immediately towards B with a lot of players, but they have been spotted, so we'll see whether this can actually work very well. I think they're going to come out here with Uber, too. AMC immediately making the jump. And they know they need to do something crazy here. They need to cap B relatively quickly, because uh, B is kind of where they keep dying. Nice trap by AMC. He does get taken down by the soldier, but he at least killed the demo. And Def is up here now doing some good damage. Uh, this looks like a decent attack. The sentry is still up, but it's being wrangled right now, and so it's going to be tough to take down. Uh, the soldier's still alive as well. Def needs some heals down here over on the side, but they can pop this uber and take down the sentry if they want to. They just need to make sure their opponents don't keep their uber as well. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. They do pop the Uber. Not able to take down the sentry yet. Oh no, okay, they did. I'm sorry. They just down. Now, here comes the red Uber, and we'll see whether this can actually get the kills. Looks like it has so far it killed uh, Kami. The Heavy tosses a sandwich just for fun, and it looks like actually the red team will grab that. But Link user coming in and destroying the sentry, harassing the engineers, what they need to do just to keep that down. The problem is A isn't even being capped yet. They can send just one player over there to uh, to capture it if they wanted to. And it looks like they might do that with TM4. Um, no, Koala's even... Oh, uh-oh. He was... Okay, Koala, you don't have anything to wrangle. Yeah. No. <laughs> A little embarrassing moment there as he may have been out of ammunition for his shotgun. I have no idea. Um, but so far, the Lions and Friends just barely held that attack off. And so, with a little bit of an uber advantage, I think they'll be able to hold point B for a while. Under six minutes left to go, and it's not looking good for the Wild Party at the moment, unless they can put together a better offense than they have in previous rounds, because uh, they have not been able to beat that six-minute time yet, and they are just now starting the cap on A. They're going to have to reset their deck on B, so uh, we'll see. Now, TM4, I don't even know where he's sniping from, but he did manage to take down that sentry again, so this engineer keeps getting harassed, and it's down again. Where, Where is this guy? TM4, where are you? Where, where is he? Where is he? Here he is. Okay, so he is actually attacking from C, and we found him at the perfect time there because he got jumped by Monster. Monster Inc. The soldier. Just kidding, it's just Monster. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't look green and have one eye, so it totally isn't Monster Inc., which is a great movie, by the way. And Maverick getting pressured a little bit by the scouts, but the scout has 38 health and could die very easily to an SMG, and yet he doesn't. So, Scout doing his job. Onion taking some damage here, but I bet you didn't know you could jump down there. Good, uh, good milking of the Uber just a little bit. So they are going to have, they're going to come out of these Ubers at roughly even times. So the problem is the engineer here is down for Lions and Friends. They're, ooh, they're going to have to defend the last point for about four minutes, which is a tall order. We've seen it done before, but uh, it's always a tough thing to ask of any team. Actually, they are still pushing back in. I like this move. Lions and Friends knows they have not lost this yet. There's really only a heavy medic there pushed pretty far back right now. Um, trying to build this Uber up. Oh, Spy comes in, tries to go for the stabs. Not going to get them, though. And, uh-oh, the medic is down. That is Pun. Down for the count. And this defense is starting to look suddenly really solid for Lions and Friends. They've managed to get quite a few good kills here. They have lost their medic, and so it's still it's still kind of tenuous, which is it, one of my favorite words. But Hazy is still just doing some crazy damage here. So as long as he can stay alive, 
and keep defending point B single-handedly by himself. He should be doing all right. It's, I'm just going to stop by himself. But he's doing, done a lot of damage here. And a TM4 helping kill Method, not actually killing the Heavy who, as he sat there eating a sandwich in plain view. But, uh, yeah, Hazy going to come back with 300 health and start doing some damage to the Medic over there, just trying to harass a little bit. It's like, what's your deal is down. And the Engineer is not going to be able to set up his sentry, but every little bit of time to take off the clock right now is golden. Lions and friends trying to delay this point for as long as possible. Hazy taking some heals, and he still isn't dead, which is surprising to me. There you go, he does get a scout finally coming to kill him. And the medic down as well. So, oh, look at that. Three players left alive for Lions and Friends. The Wild Party may be able to win this. They are getting B captured right now. And you see AMC immediately going for the cap on point C. He's going to jump up there right away. There, is, there was a scout up here, but he's not going to be able to stop this. AMC setting up some sticky traps right now. This is the perfect thing to be doing. Perfect traps here. If anybody tries to jump up, he will be able to detonate them immediately. I think they're going to get the capture. And Wild Party should be able to win this. They do. Perfect capture. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was the last round. The Wild Party did manage to win it, and they are going on to the finals. Lions and Friends will go on to the third place of the UGC Copper Division. You can go check out those playoff brackets yourself over at UGCLeague.com, I think, or maybe .net. Regardless, an amazing match. We ended it with a demo man on fire, capping the point, looking pretty happy, despite the fact that he is burning away. Uh, 13 health left, so actually... Uh, pretty much he's going to die. It's going to be hilarious. There you go. <laughs> All right. Anyway, thank you for watching. It has been super awesome, and I do hope you have a super awesome day. Um, actually, how much time was left on the clock when they captured? Because it was a couple minutes. Maybe we should just keep some anti spoiler time in here? Hmm. Not a bad idea. Um, what can I talk about? I don't know. Uh, I'm actually going to cast the UGC 6v6 finals in a minute here, which is going to be super awesome as well. I'm going to keep all of my neighbors awake until, like, midnight as I do it, because it's going to be a pretty awesome game. But yeah, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you doing? What are you doing? You need to subscribe to my channel. I mean, just, just do it. Do it, man. Peer pressure. That's what it's all about. Just subscribe. You know what would be really awesome? Peer pressure in the comments. If all the comments... We're like, hey, dude, no, no, seriously, you should totally subscribe. I bet it would work. <laughs> no, anyway, it's I, I actually don't beg for subs. It's not a huge deal. I just do enjoy sharing the passion of TF2 with all of you guys. Um, but as far as financially goes, yeah, I get some money from advertisements, but it's not a heck of a lot. Uh, I have a real, like, day job, which pretty much covers me. So uh, I am not particularly desperate for subscriptions. I just like the fact that a lot of people like watching TF2 competitively. And I like seeing the scene grow. That's the big deal. I like seeing people like Lansky and Sean Bud and, let's see, who else? Lang, Pure, Har Blue. I like seeing them get a lot of new subscriptions and followers on their Twitch TV channels. I like seeing where the sport is going. Uh, I just wish it could be growing a little bit faster, but you know, we are doing everything we can, so do stay tuned for more awesome stuff coming up in the future.